Hello, how are you? <laughs> we hope you're good. So today I'm here with the wizarding trunk year six. I'm super excited. Year six is one of my favorite years. First of all, hope you had a very cozy, warm and fun, relaxing Christmas if you celebrate it. If not, just end of December. I hope it was good. <laughs> the Wizarding Trunk is a US-based Harry Potter themed subscription box. I will link them down below. Very, very excited. This was sent to me in exchange for an honest review. As you guys know, I always am. First things first. That is how it looks like when you open the box. We have a couple of pieces of paper. This one says, this book is property of Ronald Waslip, which is obviously from when Harry was trying to hide the uh, Half-Birth Princess book. And oh, cool! The other thing is destination, determination, deliberation. This certificate certifies that Book Rose has mastered the three Ds of apparition. So I got my personal apparition diploma, which would obviously have your name if you ordered this. Okay, ooh, okay. Oh my god, cute. They always package things really nicely. So there's a little note with, hello G, we hope that this letter finds you well. We had noticed that in your vlogs and other posts that you can at times have migraines, really bad headaches. M my wife and I have these also in Alchemy for the skin had sent us one of their time turner headache sticks and it worked for both of us. I asked Zia from Alchemy of the skin to send me a few to send to you. Oh my god, so this is just for me, thank you. What the hell, that is so sweet. That is so thoughtful, oh my god. Hoping you are well, Dustin, Ayla, and the elves. Aww. Cool, but they look like really big chapsticks. I will definitely, 100% will be trying these. Thank you so very much. That is so kind and thoughtful. Pretty sure that's not part of the box though. <laughs> so let's continue on, but thank you so much. That's Next up, we have a little sticker that says exceptionally ordinary and is definitely a Luna themed one. It has the Spectrosprex and her uh, bunny rabbit or hair, I don't know, Patronus. It's a very Luna-ish sticker. Then we have this little box here, very heavy. I'm kind of guessing it's gonna be some type of potion. I was about to say Felix Felicis, but obviously not because of the size. <gasps> Oh my god, it's pretty. So like vivid green and so see-through and so clear. Oh my god, I love it. Acromantula venom, of course. Oh my god, this would be worth a lot because that is a lot of it. <laughs> Was humanly harvested from a recently deceased specimen commonly used in the uh, armadillo bile mixture, 100% pure, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. That is beautiful. That is a very beautiful potion. It's gonna go straight into my potion shelf. Oh, we have their pen and this time. Oh my god, that's so... Oh, I've never seen, never seen anything for this character. That is so unexpected. It says, now, now, not so fast or I'll think you're only here for my trinkets. Can you guess what that is? I don't even remember her name, but it's the lady that Tom went to get her Hufflepuff cuff and also she had the necklace, I think, as well. So it's that lady that was descendant from Helga Hufflepuff. It's so... <laughs> it's so... Unexpected. I really like that actually. It's then we have Pygmy Puff Sugar Scrub, Pure Cane Sugar Coconut Oil, Glycerin Oil and Fragrance Oils, Alchemy for the Skin. And we have this really pink tub. Oh my god, it has glitter. Ooh, smells like summer. But like summer at the beach where you get like this ice cream that's just like frozen juice. I see there's a t-shirt, but I'm gonna keep that for the end, I think. Um, we have this beautiful, beautiful navy blue box, inside of which... Darkness from Peru! So this is the darkness powder. I don't know how it's gonna look like. Hopefully I'm not gonna get a mess here. Oh my god, this is the... Oh, what are you called? I forgot, but I have like a big one of these as well. But this is beautiful, and it's so cool to have. If you haven't had one in your collection, it's also cool to have if you already had one like me, because <laughs> I really love it. Almost missed this baby, because there's a lot of like um, shredded paper. And this is gonna be another potion, of course. Felix Felicis Liquid Lug. This is molten gold liquid, will make the drinker lucky for a short time. This potion should not be used in excess. Side effects may include giddiness, recklessness, and overconfidence. Use it well. And it's one of those like beautifully moving potions that we had from like another box with the uh, aging potions. Ah, you guys know I love it and it's gold. It's not in the shape that you would expect the Felix Felicis, but I'm like, it just depends where you bottle it. So I don't mind it and it's so beautiful. I like that a lot. It just moves 
so much. I mean, these two look really beautiful even like next to each other because of the colors. Ooh, they're, oh my God, there's so many things. Okay, so next up we have this white box. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. It's a flask. Um, I'm not a big drinker. I drink like three times per year currently. Um, but you could also just use it as a display piece or just actually have, I don't know, orange juice, whatever you like. But also if you would like something to drink. It says Felix Felix's Liquid Luck um, <laughs> on it and it's like a flask. I've never used one but I know my dad has. It's cute. Um, I do think maybe it could have been better used for the flask that Mad Eye Moody has. So it would just be like Mad Eye Moody because obviously he only drinks from his flask. Maybe depending on the age of a person ordering this, but uh, I, th I think it's funny. Um, this candle was actually wrapped in a t-shirt, which I actually really like because obviously saves on the packaging and everything. And this one is Ginny, oh, one of my favorite, very underrated, super shamefully done in the movies. It just didn't give her character. It's weird. Um, it says orange blossom so I should hopefully like it. I really like orangey scents. Oh, I love it. And also oranges for me is such a Christmassy food. Oh, I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite scents. I know Joke had a perfume that was basically the same and I still have one that's like my mainly orange scent because I love orangey scents. I love this so much, so, so much. Where is this from? Oh, it's Inflamia Candles. I just didn't notice this because the label, like I really like this label. Really well done, oh my god. This looks like a vinyl, um, nothing like a holiday spell. Celestine Verbeck, oh my god, it is a vinyl. I'm assuming it doesn't actually work, not that I could check, but it's a vinyl of Celestino who is like the favorite of Mrs. Weasley. Things like this, like only true fans will include something like that in a box for other fans. This way, one of the reasons why I really love this box is because like you know they know what they're talking about. Next up we have some prints. <laughs> Uh, I think I see one that's really cute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, but I love it. Ford Anglia would like earmuffs. <laughs> it's super random, but it also has a headway. I love it. Um, and then another thing is the raising the wands after Dumbledore's fall. Sad. Anyway, the very last thing, I believe, unless I missed something. This t-shirt. Okay, I haven't seen all of it. It's like really simple green. And it just says, elite member of the slug club. I kind of love it. Maybe it could have been a tiny bit smaller, just like not all over, because I'm usually like a bigger fan of like smaller designs, but that is so cool. I, I'm a big fan. This whole box, I'm a big fan of this box. I cannot wait for year seven. I don't know if they're doing one or two boxes for that. There's some bits and pieces in this, like this and the pen, and both of the potions are amazing. Um, I'm not pro probably my least favorite item is the sticker, but that's because I don't really use stickers that much, but someone else might love it. Um, the candle smells amazing. I will literally be burning it today on Christmas Day. We got a bloody crystal. Like, this box is amazing. Big fan of this box, but let me know what you think. Obviously, everyone is entitled to your opinion, and not, like, not everyone likes these, like, homemade, more Etsy-style items I personally love. Um, I think they're quality is increasing a lot. I think they're taking a lot of feedback and actually using that feedback to change a couple of things, which I'm a big fan. I just really love a lot of things from this box and I'm very, very happy with its contents, but I would love to hear what you think. I hope you are cozy and well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!